Welcome to this training session for the software CILDIS Module 1, allowing the prediction of acoustic and aerodynamic performance of silences. This acoustic simulation is illustrating the computation of the dissipative silencer with a rectangular cross section, as described in the example 1.4.1 of User's Manual. SILDIS is an Excel-based software for which the user can input data either using yellow cells, like this, or using drop-down menu, like this. The language of the software being either English or French. What we've got here is a cross-section of half a splitter. On the left side, we've got the airway. On the rear side, we've got either the middle plane of the splitter or an impervious rigid back. The acoustic structure can be made from one to four sets each being made of one porous medium, like wool or foam, a series cloth, like silk, fabric, and a perforated protection, like a perforated sheet. For the example today, we are going to use one set made of one porous medium and one series cloth. First of all, we are going to enter the temperature to be considered for the project, like this. The pressure to be considered for the project, like this. And we are going to consider dry and clean air everywhere, meaning in the airways and within the failing. As we consider one set of material, the maximum set index will be 1, meaning that the data related to set 1 will be considered in the display tables. First of all, we are going to select a prose media using the drop-down menu and selecting a reference from a library for which parameters like resistivity, porosity, and so on are stored. We will select the thickness of the filling being the half of the splitter, like this. Now we can select the cloth using the drop-down menu with a reference from a library and we can enter the thickness like this. Should we like to consider a perforated protection like a perforated sheet, we would select a reference from the library and then simply enter the thickness. This is not the case for our example today. We have now finished the step related to the selection of the acoustic layers. We can enter a reference uh, spectrum, which is, in this case, the sound power level at the inlet of the silencer, being either known by octave band or by one third octave band. Now we can switch to the worksheet COSIL, which stands for the computation of the silencer. The half airway we can select here using the data related to the geometry of the silencer. In our case, with an open area ratio of 0 0.5 for a rectangular silencer. 
the flow rate we can enter here as a mass flow rate for which the density is displayed what make easy the conversion from volumic flow rate which can be double checked afterwards now we have to enter the geometry of the cross section using the uh, data displayed for a certain number of geometries in our case a rectangular silencer with a width like this a height like this and the length like this we can select a reflection loss model using the drop down menu like this and also a model for bypass correction using drop down menu like this now for aerodynamics upstream the splitters can be with rectangular profile or with circular profile which can be selected using the drop down menu and also for the aerodynamics downstream the profile downstream being in this case like this we can select a model for pressure loss using the drop down menu like this and also a model for flow acoustic power using a drop down menu like this what we've got here is the sheet displaying the results in the upper part we've got all the data we have entered and in the lower part we've got the simulation results what we've got here is the speed in the airway and also the total pressure loss either in pascal or without any units regarding acoustics we can select the condition of propagation inside the filling being either for locally reacting filling or bulk isotropic filling or bulk isentropic filling using this drop down menu like this now we've got some results for acoustic performance by third octave band and also for one octave band considering the spectrum we have entered we've got longitudinal attenuation bypass correction reflection loss and the total being the insertion loss without self noise the self noise is computed separately of what the combination with the insertion loss without self noise is leading to the sound power level at the outlet of the silencer and also the insertion loss with flow that's all for this simulation thank you very much for your attention